Hello there. Um, I'm working on a Revox A77 Mark III, and um, I just I'm just making this video to point out something to um, to those newbies like myself who are working on these uh, decks. Um, in the forum, they always tell us that you know we should measure the the trim pots when we take them out. And then um, before replacing the new ones, you should measure it and take the take that measurement from the old one and put it, you know, on the new one. So today I was working on this deck, and um, I already recap the deck and um, tear it apart and put it together again, and. Um, Everything work, the, the transport work, uh, uh, all the all the mechanicals work. So I put in, put in all the cards, and I noticed that I wasn't wasn't getting any sound from it, right? So I'm like, what is going on? So I have a, another set of cards for these decks. So I put in those old cards. My I call them my test cards, and it, the deck worked perfectly. So what I did, I know it has to do something with the output card. That's because no sound was coming from it. So what I did was I removed all the cards. Of course, this one's still in there, but I can take that out too. No problem. I remove the cards and then I stick two of my old cards in it, my test cards. my reproduced test cards in the deck. So, turn on the deck and hit play. Deck is playing, you can hear it. Okay, so stop it, stop it, turn it off, and then I replace it with. I replace my test cards. These are my test cards. They might be upside down. These are my test cards. And I replace it with my with the original card cards reproduced cards from this deck. Repeat the process. Gonna turn it on and hit play. Nothing. No sound whatsoever. Okay. Turn it back off. So I'm thinking, what's going on here? All right. There's something wrong with these cards. If I take out one card, turn on the deck, play, nothing. All right. If I put only one test card in here, in the deck, only one of my test card. I put only one test card in the deck. All right, watch what happens.
that place. Alright. So it's obvious that something is wrong with my with my card. With the original cards that I recapped. So I started to inspect the cards. Go 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 over them one more time to see, you know, if if I had missed uh, if I had turned the caps wrong or something. But then I look closely and, <laughs> and I noticed that the trim part is at zero, no adjustments. Right? So I said, what the hell? I'm, how could I be so tough not to think of that before? So let's see what happens now. I'm gonna gonna turn it up just to halfway right just turn it up half away and I'm gonna insert the card in here okay see what happens BOOM <laughs> sound all right, <laughs> so I, I I said really well. I I, I should I should that's the first thing I should have checked, but for some reason I just didn't remember that I didn't turn up the the um I didn't take those measurements when I was was um recapping the deck and and putting in new trim parts in there. All right, so I make this video so that others could benefit that from it. I just wanted to show that it's very important that when you take a trim part out of the deck you should always measure the old trim parts and then before putting measure the old one and put that adjust the new new trim part to that value before you um before you you solder it back before you solder the new one onto the circuit board because if you don't do that, this this same situation will will um, you will experience this same situation, unless of course you are an expert at it. Um, th this video is not for the experts th because the experts they all know that know this already. This is just for newbies. You know, it takes me some time to um to figure all these things out. But nothing beats trial and error, right? So now I know. And I don't know if you noticed that the deck the deck wasn't playing properly, and I know exactly why. Same reason again because um, the trim parts uh, on the other boards that were in the deck were not adjusted either. I just I just changed them because I have all the equipment to um, to make the adjustments. I have all the the service manual and all that. So. Um, and I've done a f quite a few of these decks before, so I'm, I'm getting the hang of it. But this one I just wasn't thinking. So anyway, um, this is a short video um, to show you what, what happens if you don't um, measure those trim parts before you, um, you put the new ones in. Um, a lot of people have asked me, how come I don't um, show my my results on my video but sometimes I make the video and all of a sudden you know I get caught up with another deck and so forth so um, not every time I can I remember to even come back at it but anyway um, I hope this this um, be will be of use to someone who is struggling as to why no sound is coming from their deck just remember First thing you go back and look if the trim parts have any adjustments on it. If it's at zero, there will be zero sound. All right, so um, this deck is, um, um, it, it still have a, a ways to go. I have to go through the calibration and I have to, to do quite a bit more to it, you know. So this is a four track deck and um, um, I've, done most of, most of the major work already such as um, changing the the um, 
the motor run capacitors. These are the old one that came out of it. They are leaking. Whoa. It fell on the floor here. So here are the the old one that I took off. It, this one fell on the floor. I just couldn't find it. It went underneath the desk, underneath the workbench. So anyway, these are the old ones. So I've, I've replaced all of these. Plus, replace all the pots and all caps all this stuff just take a while to just take a while to do all this work but i'm in no hurry so if you're working on a deck don't be in a hurry just take your time that's it just take your time and uh, a lot of quite a few people have asked me if if I oh do you repair reel to reel deck I said no I don't repair reel to reel deck for the public I just do it for myself and I only work on Revox and this is a good example of just working on Revox you see how easy it was to troubleshoot this thing here and plus not you don't have to have all the cards in it to get sound out of it you know, like I said, you can put one card in it and it works. So if something go wrong, you can just switch, I mean, swap cards till you, till you figure out which card is bad. So how easy can you get? All right. Thanks for watching and uh, see you at, on the next one. Bye.